Hi everyone. Let's face it, the world is a divided place these days and it seems like everyone has taken sides. You either have an iPhone developed by Apple or a phone with an Android operating system developed by Google. Bluetooth is a valuable feature of both these, but Android fans can brag about a thing called aptX HD. Now, HD means high definition, which suggests higher fidelity audio than standard Bluetooth. iPhones don't have HD Bluetooth. Does this make a real difference or is it just hype? We're going to find out. aptX HD is a thing called a codec. Its job is to compress the sound so that it can be transmitted over Bluetooth. An ideal codec will not affect the quality of the sound that you hear, but in practice, some codecs are better than others. aptX HD is a very good codec, but in order for it to make any difference, it needs to be present in both your phone and the speakers or headphones. Now, there are two other important codecs that your phone is likely to connect to instead of aptX HD. One is AAC, which is a codec used by all Apple phones and earbuds and by iTunes and Apple Music. It's free for others to use and all Android phones also have it. SBC is the basic standard Bluetooth codec. For something to even be called Bluetooth, it has to have SBC. And this is the reason any phone will work with any speakers or headphones and in all modern cars. AAC is claimed to sound better than SBC and aptX HD is claimed to sound better than AAC. So let's see if these claims mean anything under ideal conditions and then check out what happens in the real world. For testing, I connected a Bluetooth receiver that supports both aptX HD and AAC to a very high quality stereo. This Aurelic BR10 Bluetooth receiver that I used also has an optical digital output, so I could bypass the internal audio circuitry in case that would mask the differences between codecs. iPhones and Android phones both automatically select the best available codec that they detect in the receiver. With this Bluetooth receiver, the iPhone connects using AAC and the Android phone uses aptX HD. The Android phone also allows you to manually select other codecs by going to the settings and searching for developer options. This is very convenient for making direct comparisons between the codecs. Here you see this phone supports a few other codecs, most of which are very rarely used. I wasn't really surprised to find that on this very revealing system with high quality music sources, AAC did sound better than SBC and aptX HD sounded better than AAC. When I manually selected AAC on the Android phone, it sounded indistinguishable from the iPhone, which means it is the codex making the difference. I didn't hear the kind of night and day audio quality difference though that you get when you compare different speakers, where you quickly notice that one has more bass, for example, or a different one sounds brighter. The differences were more subtle than that. The codecs all sounded the same tonally, but the difference was in the texture and presentation of the sound. For example, when there were many voices singing, they seemed more separate and distinct when you used a better codec. And it was easier to follow background instruments, especially during louder parts of the music. With plucked instruments, like guitars, you could hear the start of a note more clearly. It sounded like plung rather than just ung. And with the sound of a cymbal, the strike could be distinguished from the decay. So it sounded more like ch rather than sh. All this was interesting. But it was only revealed with a direct comparison. If I walked into a room blindfolded, I doubt I'd be able to reliably pick which codec was in use. I found exactly the same type of difference between two different music apps as well. Spotify streams music in a compressed format. The same music on Tidal sounds better because it's uncompressed. 
If you get your music from Spotify, the sonic differences between the Bluetooth codecs are even smaller. But you can still hear some difference on a really good stereo system. To see if the differences between Bluetooth codecs persisted on a more affordable system, I connected the BR10 receiver to the $200 Hi-Fi system that I featured in this video. There was still an audible difference between the aptX HD codec and the SBC codec when you switch between them, but I'd be hard pressed to tell which of the aptX HD or AAC were playing without checking the phone settings. I tried connecting to a variety of other Bluetooth devices to see which codec actually gets used. Not surprisingly, Apple AirPods use AAC, but I was surprised the Google Pixel Buds also use AAC, so no difference between phones there. Here are some other things that you might connect to that only have the SBC codec. So on all of these, the iPhones and Android sound identical. The only thing I found where an iPhone or Android might sound different were some Sennheiser headphones, which use an Aptex codec on Android and AAC on iPhones. After all that, what are my conclusions? If you have an iPhone, there really is no need for codec envy. When connected to almost anything, the iPhone and Android will both use the same codec and sound identical. If you have a really good stereo system, it is possible to get slightly better sounding Bluetooth with an Android phone, but only if you buy a Bluetooth receiver that has the right codec. And why would you? For $20 to $30 more, you can get a Wi-Fi music streamer like this Arillic S10 Plus or this Wii Mini. These are capable of true HD audio with a sound quality even better than any Bluetooth. If you do want to get the very best Bluetooth sound on your stereo, the Arillic BR10 is a good choice. It makes a great pairing with a modern mini amplifier or a vintage receiver, because it will not only add Bluetooth, but also tone controls, a graphic equalizer, and a nice remote control to your system. It's a really good value at only $49. At the end of the day, Bluetooth sound quality is not a reason to switch your loyalties from iPhone to Android because there are so few situations where there's a meaningful difference. If you like this video, then give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you buy anything from the product links in the description, it won't cost you any more, but it will help to support this channel and is very much appreciated. Thanks for watching everyone.